Welcome to The Geek Teacher. Today what we're going to be doing is looking at inserting a picture into your video file while the narration continues on over the top. It is usually pretty easy to insert a picture simply by clicking on this button and putting it in, but what usually happens is, is you drop that in and you get a period of uncomfortable silence because the narration has stopped and interrupts the entire soundtrack. So what we want to do, because it is useful to be able to do it, is put a picture in but have the uh, narration continue over the top. Now this can be important if you're analyzing poetry for example you might want to have a quote from the poem displayed on the screen while you're talking about it. Uh, and it is actually fairly simple assuming that you do some things properly first. Now the first thing we need to do is find our picture. I'm just going to grab one that I've used for a tutorial before. You can see there's that ugly face of mine um, and I'm going to come down and find a point where I'm going to insert a picture. Now I need to, uh, before I do that actually, what I might do is I'm going to come over here and then, so I've inserted my video, I now need to insert an audio track. Now the reason for that is Movie Maker doesn't, can't really pull them apart that easily, so we need to keep an audio track going over the top of the video so that when we put the picture in and it overwrites the video, or we're actually going to have to delete some video, the audio track continues without pausing so that it doesn't look like you've had to cut it. So what we're going to do is come up here to this button on the home screen, the add music. I'm going to go add music from PC and add music. We click on that. Now I've got a music track there and I can actually just use that or I could come down to audio and video. Now if I've got it from video I can use all these wonderful files types. So we've got wonderful ones there. It's a lot. Um, I'm just going to choose that and then choose the one that we've got that I'm using already. I'm choosing the exact same video because it means that my video and audio tracks will match up perfectly. That is important. You need to make sure that they match up perfectly. Otherwise you will have weird breaks that are occurring and stuff happening in the audio that hasn't happened yet in the video or the other way around. So you'll notice that here I've got this waveform pattern that looks the same as a waveform pattern there. Um, that is kind of crucial. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my video track and I'm actually going to come up here to video tools. You'll notice we now have a music tools option. I'm going to come to video tools, click on edit, go to the video volume over here and I'm going to mute it. Now the reason I can do that is because I uh, have my audio track there. So my video track won't be playing its audio but my audio track will. I only really need one of them. Now I'm going to find a spot that I want to insert my picture, maybe down here. Let's choose one actually with a bit of audio. There we go. And I'm going to split that. Now it is important to split it because you need to have a split to insert anything. So I'm going to come to this bit and play it so you can hear it. Not sure if you could hear that. Let's go back here and I'll play that again. Form uh, using a picture box and looking. So you'll notice that the video uh, kept going and the audio kept going there. So that was smooth and seamless and that's what we want to keep in the end as well. So I've got this split here. I'm going to come back and get my photo. I've got one of Colin Firth reading a book. That's fantastic. He is awesome. Fantastic actor. Um, and I've inserted him. Now he's going for a long time. In fact he's going for seven seconds. I don't want that here under the video tools. I've got the duration of seven seconds. I'm going to grab that and drop it back down to five. So now it's going to be going for five seconds. If I press play at this point, uh, using a picture box and looking at uh, upping and decreasing the score based on clicks. So hitting the picture will make the score go up by one. Okay, so you'll notice that the audio continues there because we've got our separate audio track. What you may not notice is that it's now disjointed. The audio track over here does not match up with the one under here, which means my video is not going to match up with the audio track. And the reason for that is I've actually now gone and put an extra five seconds of footage into the video. That is a problem. However, it is easily solvable. What I'll do is take five seconds out. So you'll notice one, two, three, four, five. There are five seconds. Let's go back here. Notice that 1703, 1803, 1903. So it's five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Now if I take the same amount out of my video, one, two, three, four, five. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to split it here. So I'm taking the same amount of frames out that I just put in. And I delete that. 
now you'll notice that the video and audio actually matches again. I've taken out the exact same amount of time that I've put in so that it matches. So if I play that uh, using a picture box and looking at uh, upping and decreasing the score based on clicks, so you'll notice that the sound continues and my video now matches up with my sound file. That is as difficult as it gets. So again, the steps, um, if I take you from the start again, let's go get a new project. The steps again, we add our video. There's our video. We come back to home. We add music from the PC and we use the exact same video. So you need to choose down here the videos. Exact same video, so now our audio tracks match up. We go to our video, so we select our video, come to video tools, video volume. We mute that because it's on the audio track too. And then we find the spot we want. We split it. We grab our photo. Put it in where we split it. And for the amount of time that we have there, we need to take it off the video. So that in this case, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there we go. Split that and remove the video for the exact same amount of time. And that way our audio keeps matching up. That's as simple as it gets. That's as hard as it gets for doing that. Now, obviously, if you're using multiple videos and you want to insert pictures in between them and all that kind of stuff, you will want to do this separately, individually for each one of your videos before you combine them, just to make sure your audio tracks are matched up. So you trim both of them at exactly the same time. Very important that you do that um, because otherwise you will end up with disjoints and there's nothing a bit more awkward than having a video with the audio not matching up. So you've been watching The Geek Teacher and I hope you've uh, learned something from this lesson and can use it in your expertise. Stressless. Be ninja.